Hi, this is Alex Paul with Embedded Computing Design, and I'm here at the Embedded World Conference in Nuremberg at booth number 3A510 with Maury Lin. We're at the uh, Super Micro booth, and uh, I'm glad you had some time to talk to us today. Thank you, Alex. So, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, Super Micro is very happy to be here to presenting the latest generation uh, Intel technology with edge computing possibilities. And we would like to share more about the innovation and the focus today. And I think this show is great, so we got lots of traffic, and we hope you can uh, find a time to drop by, we have a host you and give you the latest update. Well, and edge computing is very big right now. I mean, there's a lot of action going on. Some of it's a lot of promise and, you know, bubbles, and some of it is real thing, and it looks like you got a lot of real stuff here. Yes, so uh, our company is uh, focused on this uh, edge computing more than uh, uh, six years. And in this kind of a journey here, we realized that the computing power is the key, got to be low power, and also with the high capacity to drive the memory and also the networking possibility. And by the way, got to be very, very compact because it's edge side. And because of this, this, we try to offer different possibility to help. And for example, if you want to do the workload consolidations, then you will need the FPGA card, such as the Intel Altera card. And because of this, this Intel FPGA cards allow you to integrate the workload into a small form factor device. So we are able to combine these two together in a very high density design including many Intel FPGA car and other possibilities, the graphic processing unit. And this makes this computing become real for the edge problems. The problem we had at the edge side, it could be the coming 5G drive, lots of graphic data. And those things have to be quickly processed and make decisions to decide to push back to the cloud or let them stay in the field side to continue let it run. So make this possible, we're offering several uh, solutions here. And maybe we can take a look here from the offering we have. You want to we tilt this up a little bit even? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, and that way we can get a little bit of a, yes, yes. a shot. So, first of all, this system was uh, the compact design. I can hold this. Mm -hmm. So, in this way, um, the system was a one U server. This one U server has a very great benefit. First, it's compact. It's carry everything inside with a high performance Intel SOC Xeon D. It's up to 16 cores, and hyperthreading becomes 32. Because of this, we are able to drive the virtualization on top of this. And by the way, this module is all possible to be changed. Now you can see it's up to 37 networking ports. Combining this, it's possible to become the storage module, processing for the graphics, and also combining with the Intel EDSF short for the high flash. This is possible for the NVNE device here. So we are able to combine the computing for networking, storage, and also virtualization. Based on this, we also have providing the 10G interface for the SAP and also the 10G based stuff. Because of this, this is make it possible at the edge side for the workload consolidations. And not just about that, because I remember I mentioned to you about the FPGA car. I will show you another one, how we make it possible. The second one is like this one. Okay. So the same technology here, we designed a different form factor. It's the same SOC technology, the high performance, low power device. But now this time we are able to support the standard PCIe cards which means that all kind of the FPGA car, as long as the four high, four lengths, we are able to support up to two into this device. So this makes it become a very interesting idea, not just about the proprietary design. It's help you accelerate your workload at the edge side. And very nice. The last one we hope you can uh, take a look is this one. Alex, come over a little bit. So we understand uh, not everybody looking for just a one U phone factor. Sometimes in a smart factory like the Industry 4.0, they're looking for a machine able to close the equipment. And then that means uh, if you can make it shorter and shorter, that'll be great. So we design a wall mount device or pole mount. I will show you how it looks. The same technology able for the SOC inside, up to three add-on car. Then you are able to plug in three FPGA car. In this design, you are able to mount it in this way on the pole or into the machine and help the smart factories become the workload accelerators. It's a great idea. If you have this, you will love it. And your developer will see how come it can become so compact now. And thanks to everybody innovation here. We are very happy to be joining this show. Yeah. Thank you so much, Maury. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. How, what kind of response have you been getting at the show for the booth? Very exciting. We will continue to invest here. And then, by the way, we also have another show running at the same time around in Barcelona. I just came back from there. MWC is also the important investment for us. So 5G, edge computing, and also to the IoT embedded space. We want to make sure Supermicro will help a lot for the Echo Partner here. And we'd love to hear more voice from your guys. Excellent. So, Maury, what's the website? How can people find you? It's a www.supermicro.com, and you'll see all the update today. Very cool. Thank you so much for taking the time at this busy show to talk to us. Thank you.